Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to discuss about the Andhra MOSFET circuit. Here we are going to figure out the, the output voltage V out. Okay, you need to point the, the voltage across the output. We have a four MOSFET M1, M2, M3, and M4, and it is an identical MOSFET. And all are operating in saturation region. Let us uh, break down step by step to find out the output voltage. First thing, we have a current mirroring in left side. Okay, this side is the current mirroring circuit. Notice this reference current IRF, okay, which is equal to 2 milliamps because. Uh, the MOSFET M1 and M2 are identical and uh, connected in this current mirroring configuration. The current flowing through the MOSFET M1, let us uh, call it as ID1, which is equal to IRF, which is equal to 2 milliamps. Since uh, M2 is in the same mirror, the current flowing through the MOSFET uh, M2 can be called it as ID2 will be also equal to 2 milliamps. It's like a perfect coffee. Now let's look what happens with the gate voltage. Remember that the gate current in the MOSFET is partially zero. This means the 2 milliamps current flowing through the MOSFET M2 and the same current flowing through the resistor. R1, which is 4 kilo. Using Ohm's law, the voltage drop across the resistor R4. Simply we can call it as V is equal to IR, which is equal to ID2 into R1. So we can call it as 2 milliamps into 4 kilo. When we simplify this, we will get 8 volt. Now, the top end of the resistor is connected to the power supply 10 volt. Therefore, the gate voltage of MOSFET M3, let's call it as VG3, will be equal to 10 volt minus 8 volt so that that uh, VG3 is equal to 10 volt from the supply minus the uh, voltage drop across the resistor R1 which is equal to 8 volt we will get the gate voltage VG3 is equal to 2 volt. Moving along the gate of M4 is directly connected to the supply 10 volt. So the gate voltage of M4 is equal to 10 volt that uh, we can call VG4 is equal to 10 volt. Now for the crucial part, the MOSFET M3 and uh, M4 is in series, which means the drain current of M3, we can call it as ID3, must be equal to drain current of M4, which we can call it as ID4, so that we can notify as ID3 is equal to ID 4. Since the MOSFET are in saturation and uh, all are identical, the drain current can be described as ID is equal to 1 by 2 times mu n into COX into W by L into VGS minus 
vth whole square where the 1 by 2 mu n so x w by l is a process and a geometrical dependent parameter and this vth is the threshold voltage since this mosfet are identical this uh, vth threshold voltage will be same for all mosfet so that we can conclude this uh, id3 is equal to so for the id3 is equal to id4 to hold root and we must have vgs 3 minus vth whole square is equal to vgs 4 minus vth whole square taking out the square root of both side we get vgs 3 minus vth equal to vgs 4 minus vth or vgs 3 minus vth is equal to minus of vgs 4 minus vta the second case would imply on the vgs value is negative related to the threshold which is not the case here as they are in the saturation so we focus on the first case so that vgs 3 is equal to vgs 4 we can notify it as equation 1 now Let's express the gate to source voltage in terms of voltage we know for M3. The gate to source voltage VGS3 is uh, simply its gate voltage minus its source voltage. Here source is connected to the ground. So we can call the source voltage of M3 will be 0. So that VGS3 is equal to vg3 minus 0 volt is equal to 2 volt for m4 the mosfet uh, 4 the gate to source voltage is its gate voltage minus its source voltage which is equal to output voltage so that vgs 4 is equal to vg4 minus v out then we can call it as equation 2 and uh, we know that the vgs3 is equal to vgs4 and if we plug the value of vgs3 into this equation 2 we will get 2 volt equal to then uh, vg4 so this is the vg4 is equal to 10 volt minus v out finally we are going to solve the v out so that v out is equal to 10 volt minus 8 volt and uh, we have it the output voltage of the mosfet in this circuit will be 8 volt by understanding the behavior of current mirrors and the saturation characteristics of the mosfet we are able to calculate the step by step value if you found this expression helpful be sure to like this video and subscribe for more circuit analysis and uh, let me know in the comment if you have any question or uh, want to see more example like this thank you for the watching thank you